In this video, we will demonstrate how to calibrate a ring gauge. Uh, and typically, you would match two ring gauges of the same size or as close as you can, but we don't have two of the same rings because we are showing off our rings. So we have a 1.5 inch ring and a 1.2. We'll be doing this on the THV. I've already set the anvils uh, in their appropriate spots. So there's enough travel to measure uh, the one inch and the five inch rings. And we'll make sure that the plate is floating. Set my depth. We'll go with the lower side first. Line it up on the X. We're going to seek the maximum. I'm not using the calibrated values, I'm just using the nominals. And this is the wrong number. Two. Preset. I think that's about it. So we're setting our uh, reference ring, the QTC ring. And then next we will measure, that looks to be about right, the unit under test ring is this one. And then manually position it to get it roughly right and uh, gently tap it into place to find the maximum back and forth. There's my zero degree reading. Next, I'm going to rotate the part 90 degrees and take another reading. Searching for the maximum. Look for the peak. Looks like about 8.7. About that. Next, we will lower the platform to measure the middle of the ring, roughly right about there, and go back to setting a zero. And this is our reference A ring, that, uh, the QTC master that is calibrated already, and then uh, this is the unit under test. So we're just going to go back and reset this 1.2. Just gently shim the product back and forth to see when we find that peak. Looks like it's probably right around here. 87, 88. Just going to check it one time just to see what we get. Best reading is when it shims left or right. Two, oh, 407. We'll take it. Oh, I didn't just take 50. Right? One point. Oh, it looks like I accidentally clicked it with the mouse. Try it one more time. 
six, seven, eight, nine. Right about here. Pretty good. All right, 1.2 is set, and the mid level, zero degrees. Set this on the X, make sure my platform can travel. Free traveling platform. And I will manually index this front to back and look for it with my hand, and then use the tapping technique to find that peak. Close, six, seven, seven, five. Looks like somewhere right around there. So there's the middle point. And next I'll rotate the part 90 degrees and take the high point again. This is in the middle at 90 degrees. Going back and forth, eight six, eight seven, eight seven two, eight seven eight. It's probably about right. Looking for the peak, seventy nine. There's the middle at ninety. And lastly, uh, I won't show it, but I would drop this back down, raise the plate, the table back up, raise it up to get to the low side, and flip my reference gauge over to measure the underside. And I would do the same with the unit under test as well. So I would just measure the bottom here and here and set the gauge again, just as we did before. So that completes the demonstration of the calibration of a ring gauge. I would take all six measurements.